Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are in this world. This is a important message for the collective community. This topic is my professional opinion. It does not hold any opinions by others or any other situation. This is just something that has come to my attention and I think it needs to be addressed because God is saying this needs to be addressed. Look at it, understand it, spread a message. Okay, so here's a situation that I'm going to speak about. The topic of discussion is if you found yourself in a situation where you're at a party and you got people around, they're doing their thing, we're talking about a college environment. Now college is 18, 19, 20, you're underage already for drinking, right? The problem is a lot of people don't call the cops because Somebody is more drunk than normal. Can I be very clear with you? Know your place. Know who you're with, your friends. How they act when they are now faced with somebody taking accountability by saying, hey, she needs help. And get to the help where the cops come in. And then, the, and then they start talking. And then just... When the people are around the officer... They look like they already gave up. Like they already surrendered. Take me to jail. Listen to me. Be safe. Understand that there is people out there... Doing this... On the low low. On the DL, it's part of sororities, it's part of all these communities that don't believe that they can have a true love, but they got, the only way they can get to somebody or submissive them is roofie their drink. And I watched the video and there were so many red flags that came up in that just little bit of time with that uh, officer's uh, body cam. Y'all are now on watch. Y'all are now going to be also understanding that we're going to re-implement a new culture in college. You, the one that runs and, and what, what? You, the one that takes advantage of the victims or people where they're away from their family, they're all alone. You, oh, hold on. The behaviors that you do is, is uh, basically grooming them into believing they're your friend when you have an alternative thing that you're going to eventually do to that person, you need to start to question your conscience immediately. This is not a game anymore. As soon as I hit release, this video is going out. College campuses are going to start being a, on the ups and ups and understand that we're going to start changing the culture. This, this ideology that we're not going to call the cops because somebody's way more, can't even stand it, looks like she's still going to pass out, that's different. Ugh. Those are symptoms of being drugged. Especially when you're Delulu only at 11 o'clock at night. Are you serious? But all your other friends are, here's the red flag, but your four other friends that were around you to pretending to take care of her, you were doing damage control. You were doing damage control. Your body language and everything you were showing was taking me to jail. We're fucked. And if we don't put, we don't do damage control, this is going to go further. Where they're going to expose the whole fucking operation. You have three of them that aren't even students at the college. You have one guy, he goes to the college. What does that look like? Men. Let's be very clear. I am a man. I know what you guys do. I know your ideology. Been there, done that. I live next to a big college. Yes, I grew up next to it. I've seen everything. I know everything. I know how operations that are still to this day, even 25 years later, still happening because the chains haven't been broke. 
The things you were following and the things you were doing, you're getting tied into something you don't even know you're getting into that's going to ruin the rest of your life. There's people that you're trying to be cool with that don't have the good intention for you. So females, be aware of your surroundings and who you talk to. Know that everything going on around you, you have to start, unfortunately, questioning. Now, when I'm, I'm not a police officer myself, but I, I, I do investigate certain things in my own time to better understand people's behaviors so I can then learn from it. Remember, body language is, it tells the truth way more than anybody opened up their mouth or even move around. Body language. Mm-hmm. Crossed arms, you're fucked. Do you get what I'm saying? You have your arms crossed because you feel like your back is against the wall. Your facial features that you look at your other friends like you're, you do this like big, like, you know, like exhaustion look. You know, you just kind of look at them, but you kind of don't look at the opposite, but then you're looking, yeah, 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 mm hmm. See, the problem is you're already too deep. See, the problem is we got cliques out there that want to play by the rules and then we got people that don't want to play by the rules. Play by the rules is God's word. God has everything for you right at his fingertips. So open up that Bible. Start realizing that the truth will be in that Bible that will tell you and keep you safe. Understand that your intuition said, mm, you know, this relationship or friendship that, you know, we're going to this weird ass party, we're going to this weird dorm room. You know, question yourself. Just don't go along with the crowd. Are you serious? What what good is it to be now thinking you're just going to go out in a college campus known for underage drinking, known for people getting really, really drunk, and known for people getting raped that they never talked about, known for people hiding things. Through sororities, take an eye, security in uh, buildings for dormitories, take heed to what I'm talking about, use your intuition, know what you're supposed to do, do not click up with nobody to then now cover up things. Keep it real with people, don't be super strict on people, I'm just saying new, use your intuition, know what to say, when to say it. Know how to change your your protocols and things like that. Know when to, hey, something doesn't feel right here. Know when to start doing training. People are not qualified. Some people aren't qualified enough because they don't do the training. They don't think about the moral aspect of things. You know what I'm saying? That's what's making me pissed. I'm speaking for all the ladies and men that get raped out there. I'm sorry. That's the truth. And Rufi, this is an ongoing problem. We got people winding up missing why do you think they drug them? Get them so drunk, they start wandering somewhere, and then they get in. Yes. Think about it. It doesn't take much to get roofied. Keep your drinks close to you and keep them like next to your heart. Don't receive drinks from other people. Make sure you're the one pouring it. That's the truth. It's the only way to keep yourself safe. And don't leave your drinks unattained or un unoccupied. And if you don't know if it's yours, get another one. Different one. Or, matter of fact, if you're not feeling it, get away. Say, you know, I'm, I'm going to go and watch some Netflix. Because being around people that are shifty and trying to get at you, it's eventually going to happen because it's been happening. That's what I'm trying to say. Spread awareness to yourself. Understand that it's not going to just change if you don't have people that are doing the right thing. True friends are going to tell you the truth. See, unfortunately, when you're young and naive, you don't know what's going on. You think these are your friends. No. Because when the, when the cops get called, where are they? They run away or try to cover shit up and they want to disappear. Where are they now? And then a lot of people that you can tell who, uh, look, some people save their lives by just calling 911. Just say, hey, I have somebody that is more than intoxicated. You know your friends, you probably drank plenty of times, right? But you notice something's different. You're just going to watch your friend be like that? 
Be honest with yourself. Take, think about it. There's people out there that know you got to stand up for what's right. God's will, God's respect, God's love. Do the right thing. Know your surroundings. Know what's going on. This is a message for public safety for a lot of people. Know your surroundings. Have boundaries for yourself. Text messages, phone calls. Why are they so pushing a certain party? Why are they pushing me to go here? Why are they pushing me to go here? You know what I'm saying? You got to start asking your own. Are you a follower? See, a lot of people don't understand. Like, you go to college, you're out and about. You're out and about. You're away from your family, most likely across country or even across the world. And so what? You're an easy, vulnerable target. It takes only a few months to get your vulnerabilities down because now you're feeling like you're accepting and they move in for the <coughs> honest truth will set you free. Know this, threat, threat houses. I'm watching. I'm actually a, a way ahead of you. We have the sorority God. That's truth. He's going to sweep through all everything you guys did in rituals since you've been doing at the hands of time since the sun came up when you first even had that dormitory. Everything's going to be coming to light. Know your lane. Today is a new day. Take heed to what I'm talking about. Share this with your friend. Know that you need to be safe. God is love and respect and that's what I'm giving to you right now. The awareness to believe in yourself. That a power greater than yourself can carry you through to know, to know what's right and wrong. And situational awareness is important. I'm not blaming victims. I'm not blaming uh, perpetrators. Collectively, we need a change. I'm not condoning behavior. I'm not telling. No, it's a conversation, food for thought. Understand that this is going to come to light now. There's too many people coming up missing. There's too many people with damaged egos that wounds the rest of their lives. Only from 18, 20, 19, and 20, or 21 years old. That's a time where they get away from their normal. And they go out and they feel like they got to release. There's a lot of vulnerabilities in college. When you come to college, you want to feel accepted. You don't want to be alone, but it's a big crowd. It's just the way it is. Start looking at self-help videos. Videos that can uplift your spirit. Don't listen to music that's going to tear you down. And start watching trends. I'm not saying everybody's got to, but just know your intuition's not lying to you. See, a lot of times, yeah, I want to go out, but you're, you're, you're still sad inside. Why are you going out? Oh, yeah. Why are you going out with these? And then you got random friends showing up. Like, what? Do you like being around a lot of random people? Do you know what energy comes out of you? You're giving it away. And slowly they're picking at your energy. Slowly picking at your mentality, your mindset, and your emotional stability. To now make decisions like that and go to parties where now you're vulnerable. God bless everybody. I pray that you will find the discernment in what I'm talking about. I pray that no weapons formed against you will prosper. I pray that you will find clarity in what I'm talking about and you will share it with a friend and be aware of your surroundings. I pray that you will also find the power within yourself to do the right thing in critical situations. Understand that people need help when they need it. We got to break the stigma away from people thinking, oh, it's not okay. Don't be a Karen, but be discerning, okay? Don't escalate the situation, de-escalate the situation. We're going to make protocol you know what I'm saying? Protocols are going to change. God bless all of you. I pray that this finds... <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. All right, God bless. Have a wonderful day.